Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. So now I'm going to continue the problems on regression analysis. In the last video, two problems I have solved on for making the regression equations. Now third problem. <clears throat> so before starting the third problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Always keep ready the problems and then watch the video. Take a screenshot of third and fourth solution. Then I'll explain each and every point. Now, see the problem number three. <clears throat> The following figures relate to advertisement expenditure and sales. The two variables are given. One variable advertisement expenditure rupees in lakhs and sales rupees in crores. Then estimate the sales for advertising expenditure 90 lakh and advertising expenditure for a sales target of 25 crore. So we have to calculate one variable given the other variable. For calculating the variable, we need the regression equations. So first of all, we calculate regression equation of x on y and y on x. It is not given in the problem. We assume the advertising expenditure will be denoted as x and sales will be denoted as y. So we calculate the regression equation of x on y and y on x. After that, we can make the estimations. So as usual, calculations for regression equations. First of all, we need only two columns, advertising expenditure X and sales Y. You should not make all other columns because we have to calculate the actual mean. If the actual mean is in a whole number, then take the deviations from actual mean. If the actual mean is in fraction, then take the deviations from assumed mean. So first of all, we have to calculate the mean value. The so total X is the advertising expenditure. The total of X is 476 and Y is the sales. The total of sales are 98. Now we calculate X bar. X bar is equal to summation X by N 476 by 7. 7 values are there. So 476 by 7, 68. Whole number. Then Y bar, summation Y by N 98 by 7, 14. Whole number. So fortunately, we got both the means in whole number. So we can take the deviations from actual mean, small x. So small x is equal to capital X minus x bar. Capital X minus 68, x bar is 68. So 60 minus 68 minus 8, 62 minus 68 minus 6, 65 minus 68 minus 3. Like this you calculate the total summation x, you must get 0. If you are not getting 0, that means you have done some mistake, calculating mistake. So it's a check. So before proceeding, first you must check summation x0. Summation y, y minus y bar, y bar is 14. So 10 minus 14 minus 4, 11 minus 14 minus 3, 13 minus 14 minus 1. Take the total, you must get 0. Because we have taken the deviations from actual mean. Now, x square, 8 8 is a 64, 6 6 is a 36, 3 3 is a 9, 2 2 is a 4. Take the total x square 196. Y square, y is here. 4, 4 is a 16. 3, 3 is a 9. 1, 1 is a 1. Total is 56. X into y. 8 into 4, 32. 6 into 3, 18. 3 into 1, 3. Minus into minus will become plus. Take the total 100. Now calculations part completed. Now we substitute in the formula. Regression coefficient bxy. And regression coefficient y on x bx so first we calculate regression coefficient of x on y bxy is equal to summation xy by summation y square see here all the chapters are dependent on the formula first video on theory theory on regression analysis i have explained all the formulas in detail so if you remember the formula then only we can proceed otherwise every problem will be a peculiar difficult problem for you so remember Summation xy by summation y square. 100 divided by 56. It comes to 1.786. This is bxy. 
regression coefficient of x on y. Similarly, regression coefficient of y on x, b y x. Summation x y by summation x square. That is 100 by 196. X square is 196. So 0.510. One of the properties, if one regression coefficient is more than one, the other should be less than one. This is more than one. And this is less than one. Now regression equation of x on y. x minus x bar is equal to bxy into y minus y bar. x minus x bar. x bar is how much? 68. So x minus 68 is equal to bxy. bxy is 1.786 into y minus y bar. y bar is 14. So y minus 14. Now open this bracket. x minus 68 is equal to 1.786 into y then minus 1.786 into 14, 25.004. Now bring this 68 to RHS. So minus 68 will become plus 68. So x is equal to 1.786y minus 25.004 plus 68. So 68 minus 25.004, 42.996. So x is equal to 1.786y plus 42.996. This is the regression equation of x on y. Similarly, y on x, regression equation of y on x, y minus y bar is equal to byx into x minus x bar. y minus y bar, y bar is 14. byx, byx is 0.51. x minus x bar, x bar is 68. Now open the bracket, 0.51 into x, 0.51 x. 0.51 into 68, 34.68. Bring 14 to RHS plus 14. So ultimately y is equal to 0.51x minus 20.68. So we have calculated regression equation x on y and y on x. Now we attempt the a and b bit given in the problem. So a bit, the sales is equal to how much for advertising expenditure of 90 lakhs. So our question is sales. Sales are denoted as y. Sales are denoted as y. So sales y is equal to how much? When advertising expenditure x is equal to 90 lakh, advertising expenditure is given. So x is given and y we have to find out. So we need the regression equation y on x. We need the regression equation y on x. To find y, we apply y on x. So y is equal to 0.51x minus 20.68. This is the equation. Now in place of x, I am writing 90. So 90 into 0.51, 45.9 minus 20.68, 25.22 is the y. What is y? Sales. So we got the sales. Sales are 25.22 crore when the advertising expenditure is 90 lakhs. Because advertising is in lakhs and sales in crore. So when advertising is 90 lakhs, sales will be 25.22 crore. Estimated sales. That's it. Next, B bit. Advertising expenditure. The advertising expenditure is how much? When sales target is 25 crore. So Y is given. X we have to find out. Advertisement expenditure X is how much? When sales are 25 crore. When sales. Sales means Y. Y is equal to it. When we want to find out X, we apply regression equation X on Y. To find X, we apply X on Y. So regression equation of x on y, this one, x is equal to 1.786y plus 42.996. So in place of y, I am writing 25. So 25 into 1.786 plus 42.996, 87.646 lakhs. So advertisement expenditure required is 87.646 lakh to get a target sales of 25 crore. That's it. So this is the end of problem number three. Now, fourth problem. From the data given below, find two regression equations. So three different questions are asked. The first question, two regression equations we have to find. Second, the coefficient of correlation between the marks in economics and statistics. The two variables are marks in economics and marks in statistics. The most likely marks in statistics when the marks in economics are 30. So three different questions are asked. Marks in economics are given 25, 28, 35. 
marks in statistics given 43, 46, 49. Three questions. First question, we have to find out the two regression equations. So we need calculations for regression equations. First column, marks in economics. We treat it as X. And marks in statistics, we treat it as Y. So all the marks in economics, all the marks in statistics are copied, taken from the problem. The total of X is 320, total of Y is 380. So before making other columns, you must find out what is the mean of X and mean of Y. So X bar is equal to summation X by N. 320 divided by 10. 10 values are there totally. So 320 by 10, 32. Y bar, 380 by 10, 38. Again, fortunately we got both the values in whole number. So we can take the deviations from actual mean. In the coming problem, we'll come, uh, we'll come across where we'll have fractional value. There we have to assume. But here we have to take the actual mean. Small x is equal to capital X minus x bar. So capital X minus 32, x bar is 32. So 25 minus 32 minus 7, 28 minus 32 minus 4, 35 minus 32, 3, 32 minus 32, 0. Take the total, you must get summation x is equal to 0 because we are taking the deviation from actual mean. Similarly, y. y minus y bar, y bar is 38. So 43 minus 38, 5. 46 minus 38, 8. 49 minus 38, 11. Like this, you take the deviations, take the total. Summation y also, you must get 0 if you have done correctly. Now, square x square 7 7 is a 49 4 4 16 3 3 9 0 1 take the total for 40 here also a square 5 5 is a 25 8 8 is a 64 11 11 is a 121 3 3 is a 9 square take the total 398 now multiply x into y 7 5 is a 35 minus into plus will be minus minus into plus will be minus 7 5 is a 35 minus into plus minus 4 8 is a 32 3 into 11, 33. 0 into 3, 3. Minus into minus plus. Now take the total of summation xy minus 93. We have made all the calculations. Now we substitute in the equation. But before that we need regression coefficient of x1, y. And regression coefficient of y or x. So first of all regression coefficient of x1, y, x, bxy. Summation xy by summation y square. So minus 93 divided by 398, it comes to minus 0 0.234. Similarly, regression coefficient of y on x, summation, uh, sorry, bx, bx is equal to summation xy by summation x square. So minus 93, numerator same, denominator x square 140. So minus 93 by 140 minus 0 0.664. We have calculated regression coefficients. Now we substitute and find out regression equations. Regression equation x1, y. x minus x bar is equal to bxy into y minus y bar. x bar is how much? 32. So x minus 32. bxy. How much is bxy? Minus 0 0.234. So here I have taken minus 0 0.234. y minus y bar. y bar is 38. Now we open the bracket. Minus 0 0.234 into y is minus 0 0.234 y. Minus into minus will become plus. 0 0.234 into 38, 8.892. Now take this minus 32 to RHS, so plus 32. So minus 0 0.234 y, yeah, plus 8.892 plus 32, you will get 40.892. We got the regression equation x on y x is equal to minus 0 0.234 y plus 40.892. Similarly, we calculate regression equation of y or x. y minus y bar is equal to byx into x minus x bar. y minus 38 is equal to byx minus 0 0.664. x minus x bar, x bar is 32. Now open the bracket, minus 0 0.664 into x. Minus into minus will become plus. 0.664 into 32, 21.248. Now, take this 38 to RHS, the so plus 38. So, minus 0.664x plus 59.248. Add up both. 59.248. That's all. 
तो ए बिट कंप्लीटेड ए बिट इट इज आस्किंग यू कैलकुलेट द टू रेग्रेशन इक्वेशन ओवर ना बी बिट इट इज आस्किंग यू टू फाइंड आउट द को रिलेशन को एफिशियंट इन द प्रीवियस थियोरी वीडियो आई एक्सप्लेन बाई यूजिंग रिग्रेशन को एफिशियंट वी कैन कैलकुलेट को रिलेशन को एफिशियंट द फॉर्मुला इज आर इज इक्वल टू बी एक्स वाई इन टू बी वाई एक्स तो बी एक्स वाई माइनस जीरो पॉइंट टू थ्री फोर एंड बी वाई एक्स माइनस जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स सिक्स फोर एक्चुअली वेन यू टेक माइनस यू कैनॉट गेट द रूट रूट ऑलवेज विल बी पॉजिटिव सो विल कीप असाइड माइनस फिगर लीव द माइनस फिगर एंड टेक ओनली फिगर्स पॉइंट टू थ्री फोर इंटू पॉइंट सिक्स सिक्स फोर पॉइंट टू थ्री फोर इंटू पॉइंट सिक्स सिक्स फोर मल्टीप्लाई इट यूल गेट पॉइंट वन फाइव फाइव थ्री सेवन सिक्स अंडर रूट यूल गेट जीरो पॉइंट थ्री नाइन फोर बट वन ऑफ द प्रॉपर्टी इज द रिग्रेशन को एफिशियंस एंड को रिलेशन को एफिशियंट विल हैव द सेम साइन दट इज द प्रॉपर्टी रिग्रेशन को एफिशियंस एंड को रिलेशन को एफिशियंट मस्ट हैव द सेम साइन तो हियर वी हैव माइनस साइन तो को रिलेशन ऑल्सो यू शुड पुट माइनस साइन यू शुड पुट माइनस साइन माइनस जीरो पॉइंट थ्री नाइन फोर दैट बी बिट कंप्लीटेड लास्ट सी बिट it is asking you most likely marks in statistics is equal to how much when the marks in economics x are 30 one of the student got 30 marks in economics so how much is the expected marks in statistics statistics is denoted as y so y we have to find out whereas economics is denoted as x x is given 30 so in order to find out y we apply the regression equation y on x we apply regression equation y on x so regression equation y on x y is equal to minus 0.664x plus 59.248 now in place of x i am taking 30 so 30 into minus 0.664 minus 19.992 plus 59.248 so 59.248 minus 19.92 you will get 39.328 So y is thirty nine point three two eight. What is y? Marks in statistics. So expected marks in statistics is thirty nine point three two eight. When the marks in economics is thirty, that's it. So in this video, I have explained you two problems. That is third and fourth. Inshallah, we'll continue the next problem fifth in the next video.